That's how it often begins. Your publication puts something online and now someone wants you to take it down. These requests can come from story subjects, sources, authors, or others. Some of them present legal issues, but most are personal concerns. Some are soon after a piece is published, but many happen years later. And some requests are to take down an entire story, while others just want a name removed or some detail taken out. So what to do? The general rule is that if something is good enough to publish, it's good enough to remain. There's an important archival value to what has been published in the past. So the best solution to take down requests is a strong put up policy in the first place. In other words, be careful about what you publish. That said, let's break down common concerns into a few different types. The first category is legal concerns. It should go without saying that you only want to publish things that are legal. You want to avoid copyright infringement, privacy violations, and defamation. If someone is claiming that you've done something illegal, it's probably a good idea to check with a lawyer at the Student Press Law Center. Another concern is about factual errors. Of course, you want to be as precise as possible. If you have a high bar for accuracy, you're unlikely to have complaints about facts but no one is perfect, and if you do find a factual error after publication, you should make a correction. That means adding an editorial note about the change in a standard format, maybe like this. Sometimes a publication will get a message of concern about the fairness or thoroughness of a story. The best way to avoid this problem is to be extra careful and get a 360 degree perspective on the topic, consciously trying to see beyond your biases and understanding the complexities. But sometimes people will be unhappy. Try listening to their concerns and trying to understand them. But if you did strong work originally, this won't lead to a takedown or a correction. The last thing to do to help prevent takedown requests is to weigh the good that can come from publishing something against the harm that might come from publishing it. That means considering not just should we publish a story about this, but also looking at each detail and quote and thinking about the good versus harm that can come from including each one. But what should you do if you do everything to your best ability and still get a takedown request that isn't a legal issue? It's a good idea to have something in your staff manual about how you'll handle these requests. We have a video on staff manuals. That way you don't have to improvise and you can be more consistent. The plan might include a meeting of the staff leadership with the advisor to discuss the request and decide what to do. The important thing to do is to weigh the request against the harm to the archive, the historical record that your publication has created. Sometimes there's room for negotiation as you balance compassion and professionalism. For the Scholastic Press Rights Committee, I'm Trip Robbins.